Hi, all of you wonderful inquisitive divers out there. I'm delving into Google questions and wading around answering the questions that I come across. Today, I wanted to answer questions on dive computers. They're a fundamental piece of kit now to make our diving safer. So let's answer some questions. How does a diving computer work? Put super simply, a dive computer has a little pressure sensor that monitors the pressure around you at all times. When you dive underwater, the water pressure increases around you and the dive computer records that. Inside the programming is an algorithm that very clever people have created that basically works out how much nitrogen is absorbing into your different body tissues. There are a few different algorithms out there from different people, but they're constantly working out your tissue levels as that pressure increases and decreases. As the dive uh, continues, your dive computer will be adjusting your NDL, your no decompression limit, and recommending when it's safe to ascend and when you need to do any stops. They continue to work outside of the water also by working out how quickly those gases escape your tissues on the surface, so don't swap dive computers between dives, but put simply, there's a pressure sensor and an algorithm on the inside and it's working out how much nitrogen is dissolved into your tissues. How do you dive with a computer? Dive computers are pretty simple. Um, it is important that before you go diving with them that you read through the manual. I know it's boring, but it's important that you understand what all of the buttons do and what all the alarms mean. These kind of things, you can't work it out underwater and you can't read the manual underwater neither. Before the dive, make sure that the dive computer is set up in the correct mode. Uh, your dive computer doesn't know whether you're diving on air, nitrox, or you're just going for a snorkel, so make sure that you tell it first. If you are diving on nitrox, enter your nitrox mix before every dive, and well, you just kind of jump in, um, as long as it's strapped onto you, obviously. Most dive computers today are water activated. As soon as they get wet, they go into the most recent dive mode and they start monitoring everything. Um, then it's just a matter of checking it every so often. Look at your current depth and your NDL and adjust accordingly. If you start to ascend too fast or you start to go down too deep, then they tend to beep at you or they, they vibrate to tell you off. But dive computers are pretty simple. You strap it onto you somewhere and you keep an eye on it. Um, that's, that's about all it takes to, uh, to dive with a dive computer. Do dive computers have a compass? Sometimes. Um, a lot of times it comes down to the actual display type or style. A lot of dive computers still use that seven segment green display. Um, they can't really display like complicated compass points very intuitively, so they don't even bother putting the hardware and the software into those types of machines. More expensive dive computers with like an LED or a dot matrix display, they do tend to have inbuilt compasses, but it's always worth double checking. On a dive, you basically push a button uh, or you go to a certain screen and it can display your bearing. Push another button, it can save a bearing that you want to stick to. They're, they're pretty good in my experience, now I do like diving with an analog compass, uh, I just like how tactile they are, but digital compasses are a pretty handy feature in a dive computer. Just make sure that you calibrate it before the dive. Sometimes they need recalibrating at the worst possible time. Um, but yeah, in a lot of cases, a lot of dive computers do have compasses now, um, but an easy way to tell other than looking through the description is actually looking at the display style. What are the different types of dive computers? There are about four different styles of dive computer today. The most common is the large screen, uh, which is strapped onto your wrist and has a large screen with big digits and a lot of information on it. We also get watch size dive computers that are, you guessed it, size like wristwatches. Um, they have most of the same features as the big screen, but you can wear them day to day and the display is just a, a little bit smaller. You can find console dive computers that replace or augment your gauges connected to your regulator. Makes sense to have all of the information all in one place. And you can find some dive computers that are heads up displays that can connect to your mask, your regulator hose, or they're actually built into your mask. And the display is kind of right there down in the corner of your eye. Which is best is really up to you. They cater for all needs, but 
as far as I know, those are the, the four most basic styles. What is gauge dive mode? When you look through the different modes on a dive computer, you'll often have air, nitrox, free dive, sometimes you have off, which is actually quite a useful mode, um, and gauge. Gauge mode basically turns off the algorithm inside of the computer and turns it into a depth gauge and bottom timer. This is really only when you're diving and you don't want the computer to get upset with you or lock you out because you're diving on something like a rebreather or using a different dive computer as your primary. You just want something as a backup. While gauge mode won't lock your dive computer due to decompression, it will make it so that you can't use any other modes for a little bit of time because it hasn't been keeping up on top of your residual nitrogen levels. So it's going to wait until your tissues are cleared, 24, 48 hours, depends on the dive computer, uh, until it unlocks air and nitrox modes again. Only really use gauge mode when you have to and you have another dive computer working out your dive profile. Gauge mode is just a depth sensor and timer. That's basically it. And that's it. Uh, five questions. You only get five questions at a time on this. But if you have any questions that you want me to answer, let me know down in the comments below. And if you use the hashtag Ask Mark in your comment, it might get featured in next Friday's Ask Mark, where I answer some of your questions live. If you head over to simplyscuba.com, you'll see all of the dive computers that we sell, from budget dive computers to fancy all singing, all dancing dive computers. We cater for everybody. Thank you for watching, everybody. And of course, safe diving.